What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am coming back at you today with a navigation review of their Solid Seamless. Now, you watch my YouTube channel, you would know I've done quite a few navigation reviews in my day. What's crazy is navigation, just this past year, has made it to some of the worst leggings I've tried, but yet some of the best I've tried as well. So it's safe to say I roll the dice whenever I purchase from navigation, I'm either gonna love it or hate it. I was going to give navigation a little bit of a break, but then I saw them come out with their neutrals November. That's what sparked my interest back up. I was like, wait a minute, this is a good opportunity because I love neutrals to try some of the other collections I've yet to try. Neutrals November, that was a cute idea. In fact, this haul came in such a cute neutral bag. Bay tore it right up. He took out my leggings out of the bag and munched up the bag and threw it away. And I said, I was gonna use that in the video. And this is, thank you. This is what's left of it. Okay. So a very small haul. I have the Mocha Apex Bra. So this is my first time ever trying a navigation sports bra, by the way. And the Caramel Solid Seamless Leggings. In case you guys haven't noticed, I like to take bite sizes out of navigation. My hauls usually are just a piece or two. It's because they're so hit or miss for me. I don't wanna drop a ton of money and then get butt hurt. So I gotta take it one step at a time with them. You know the drill. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what navigation legging I should try next. This video is brought to you in part by Seller. You may have heard of them. They're actually a huge Amazon brand. Just going through their Amazon site, they have a nice variety of different colors, lots of vibrant Cut. Look at this haul. <laughs> They're a really cool activewear brand to look into. And I know you see those prices. They are extremely affordable, especially they're seamless. So today I wanted to share with you some of their shorts and their leggings. And you're probably thinking, Ash, what the heck are you holding? This is totally spring and summer vibes. I know. Looking like we're fresh out of 1989. The truth is when I was checking out all of their colors, even though I normally would gravitate towards more of the olive greens, the neutrals, the brown tones for the season, something about this color palette made me very happy. So this is their chemistry collection. What's really cool is that they are eco-friendly and made out of recycled water bottles. They have 16 different colors to choose in leggings and eight different colors to choose in their sports bras. Now I know what we're all thinking. So they look a lot, a hell a lot, <laughs> like Alpha Elite Amplify. First thing I noticed that was different was the feeling. So these have way more of a slippier, slipperier? Slipperier. <laughs> These have a much more slippery texture to them. You have the very natural looking scrunch. These are super true to size. I would say very gym friendly as well. Only thing is they're not 100% squat proof. Given the light colors and the relatively thin and breathable material, yeah, not 100% squat proof. I will say though that this bra is so dope. As soon as I put it on, the stretch in this is so unreal. Like, look at this. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> Very stretchy. It's just the right amount of low cut to be sexy, but yet still supportive. You got the removable bra pads, just a moderate support. There's no adjustments. I'll have all these pieces linked down below if you wanna give them a check. I also have a discount code to their website. So let's break down this legging real quick before we hop into the try-on. Okay, what are we doing here? Very squared off. No tapered waistband. First thing I notice is a little bit of bunching right underneath the band. I don't know how that's gonna sit on the hips right above the groin area. I don't know how that's gonna lay. I'm hoping it lays very flat and not bunchy. We'll see. I'm hoping it looks stellar on the glutes, almost like the sport legging where it just was saran wrap around the glutes. That's what I'm hoping will happen here where it's effortless. You don't need to work for it. I mean, there's no scrunch back here. There's no contour. It really is a solid seamless. I hope it's fairly squat proof, especially given that it's such a darker shade and I'm hope and I'm hope, okay, this piece of hair keeps ending up in my mouth, so. It's just how I blue dry my hair. I'm trying not to straighten my hair, so this is just gonna have to stay like that and just keep making its way in my mouth, that's fine. I'm really hoping this legging is super consistent with the fit. From the band to the ankle, it'll all better be consistent. So it looks very simple and straightforward. In terms of material, it's got a little bit of a rough texture, but super stretchy. Got a lot of buoyancy to it. Okay, see that? Almost knocked down my lamp and fairly thick too. That's why I'm thinking this will be squat proof, but I don't know yet. There's some durability, some real thickness to this. Okay, 
Let's start with the bra. Okay, we got some pros and cons. The first con, this was very, very difficult to get on. Literally very difficult. So I ordered everything in my true size small. Now, given that I've never tried their sports bras or any of their tops for that matter, went in blind with this one. So went with my true size small, and this is not seamless, so the seams right here, right above the band, they don't stretch out with you at all. So I had major difficulty getting it on. Like, check that out, there's no room. You can't even, you gotta squeeze yourself into this. I should have sized up, for sure. Another con is that the lining underneath, like this white right here, it peeks through. I can't stand when brands have a white lining on pieces, especially when they're really dark. This goes for anything. It just it just feels a little bit cheapy when there's a white liner poking through. So it's like, you see from the front end, it goes from this side where you don't see it at all to all of a sudden you see it. So that's why it's irking me. The straps lay very nicely. Like I will give it that. Very comfortable straps. Actually, the one right here, the one where it looks like your bra straps hanging out from your tank top look, is adjustable and it's got that little bit of a shine to it. I like that little material breakup because the rest is very matte and you got a little shine with it. But the backing, a little bit tight as you can see. Then again, I just gotta size up next time. This has to go back. Now let's talk these leggings, shall we? New collection for me, new color, same navigation problems. So I got the Barbie crotch going on right here. So needless to say, it's really wrinkly around the groin. And I had the feeling it would be like this, because you remember in the intro when I held up the leggings. First thing I noticed is a little bit of bunching right underneath the band. Sometimes you could just tell off the bat with that extra wrinkle underneath the band, like something's funky. So instantaneously off the bat, I was like, <laughs> Not to mention I'm getting a little bit of a camel toe. So I was really hoping for a consistent fit throughout. Even though there's a really nice, beautiful compression in the band, I dig that. No gaping when you squat, very nice band. Everything else just isn't quite consistent. You have a ton of wrinkling in the groin, a little bit around the kneecaps, and a little bit of let up wrinkle around the ankle. So the joints, it's just, you're asking for it. I do have to pay it a major compliment on the glutes. So this is the type of material that just kind of like, you can play with, move it on up. See, Navigation is that brand. They are the booty brand. I will give them that. Just one look at their Instagram, Ashley Jordan's Instagram, it's booty, booty, booty rocking everywhere. So 10 out of 10 on the glutes. The glute area, it's fitting like the sport did, which I really love. In terms of everything else, I'm feeling like these leggings are so similar to the contour, which I didn't like. So it's like the sport and the contour had a weird baby <laughs> that I'm just like, I wanna love, but I just can't love it. And to top it off, even in this dark of a legging on me, it's not 100% squat room. <laughs> I will say it of course depends on the lighting. I squatted in front of my window and you can see a little something. I'm sure it's passable for the gym though. I don't think it would be an issue. When I was squatting in the shadows, you couldn't see anything. So if you have a low lit gym, you're okay. In terms of overall comfort, they're comfortable, man. They have a really nice stretch, see that? So you just gotta take the good with the bad with navigation. I kind of expected it going in from my past experiences, so. I mean, it's really up to you. I do also wanna make mention of the quality of the logos. Now, now on the leggings, they're sewn in, which is good. They're not going anywhere, I always prefer that. However, on the sports bra, it is printed. It is printed and it's really tiny. So I feel like these letters might flake off in uh, no time. You know what time it is, y'all. New legging, it's time for a sweat test. 12 squirts right on the skin. Let's see if this baby can hold up at least in that department. First thing I'm looking for is how fast this material absorbs and sucks the sweat off of my skin. Not bad, pretty dry as a bone over here. Wow, like a bounty quicker picker up or paper towel, nice. But more importantly, maybe, maybe not. How fast does it dry off of the legging? How long do you have to go walking around with sweat stains? Let's find out. Now, I don't really know if sizing down would help out this department. The reason why I personally would not wanna size down is because I couldn't bear more compression than what's already in the band here. I think it would just be a little too compressive for me. And the fact that right on the glutes, I mean, there's a little bit of extra space, but not much. I feel like this is right on the brim of being too tight. 
So I don't think sizing down is in the cards for me. So with that being said, if I can't size down, I'm gonna just have to deal with this, which I'm not, which is why I'm gonna return it. But with that being said, wow, this wicked pretty fast. Less than five minutes, that's no joke. I just bit my cheek. All right guys, so what are we thinking about the navigation solid seamless? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Now, if you're somebody who swears by the solid seamless, please do not get mad at my review. <laughs> this is just how it's fitting on me. So even though it didn't work out today, that does not mean that I'm not gonna try more navigation. I like trying navigation. I know it's a little bit of a gamble, but that kind of makes it fun. So if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm half and half right now with navigation. If my memory serves me right, I wasn't vibing with the contour, the scrunch, and now the solid, but, but I vibe very well with the animal, the camo, and the sport, so. I'm thinking Envy. That's the one everyone's telling me to try. I'm gonna try, yeah, okay. I've also heard good things about the Signature 2.0, so drop a comment, which one should I try next? Signature 2.0, Envy, let me know. And definitely stay tuned. We have a ton of really exciting videos coming in December. I hope you are ready. So definitely stay posted. And thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.